three, two, one, start. So I know SDR isn't um, stop. Three, two, one, start. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Uh, my name is Mike M. Three, two, one, start. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Uh, my name is Mike. M0XMX is my amateur radio call sign. And this morning, I'd just like to give you a very, very quick uh, insight into web based SDRs. some friends earlier and telling them that I'm planning on going off out and playing radio later on today and, uh, and I explained what amateur radio was and, and what I'd be doing and they showed some interest and they said oh wow I wish I could listen to that uh, but they're not amateurs so they've got no radio equipment and, and uh, but I explained to them that they can do it through the internet uh, they've got a computer at home they've got an internet connection so as I went through talking to them about uh, web SDR I could see that I'd lost them within the first few seconds. Um, so I thought I'd do this quick video. Now, I understand most of you watching this video will probably be completely uh, au fait with what web SDR is. Um, but this is really for those of you that don't. So I know web SDR isn't new technology, um, but it is a device that's used um, around the world to listen to stations. So here's just a, a very, very quick um, explanation as far as what it is, and just a, a quick demo on how to use it. Uh, this is by no means meant to be uh, an exhaustive uh, lesson on how to use web SDR. Hopefully it'll give you a, a start and then you can go on to uh, try it yourself. So here we go. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is load up a web browser. There we go. And let's just uh, type into the search Web SDR. Now, the top search is uh, WebSDR.org. And what this does is it lists all or, or most of the Web SDR systems around the world. Um, it could be that you want to cover a particular um, frequency or band, let's say for instance two meters. So click in there, it will filter it down to particular web SDRs that cover that particular band. And as you can see, they are all around the world. So by clicking here, we'll be able to listen to any stations on two meters in Brazil. Um, the one that I like most is in, um, well, just, just not very far away from me, actually, called Hack Green. So let's go back to all of the, uh, the bands. And the third one down, actually, is Hack Green. And as you can see, it covers quite a few bands, 160, um, mainly HF there. However, there is also a VHF one. So let's just go into this. So literally, click in here will take you to the Hack Green site. It tells you a little bit about Hack Green here, its location and the fact that it's a, a, a former secret nuclear bunker. Um, it's a museum now as well actually, so you can actually go there. Um, so let's just scroll down. Now this is typically the front end of the uh, the SDR and, and that is the common view that you'll see irrelevant of what band that you're looking at. So we call this a waterfall or a band scope and as the, at the moment you'll see that it's um, on 160 meters if you can follow my um, my mouse uh, I can actually change that to be on the 80 meter band okay or the 60 meter band or 40 meters or 20 meters and and to understand why there is activity on particular bands at particular times of day um, you really need to understand about propagation um, which is one of the things that amateur radio will teach you so um, there's, there's books and, and courses and online video tutorials where you can hear all about that so all the way from uh, 3.6 megahertz up to 3.79 ish megahertz um, that's uh, the 80 meter band so what we can see here these um, areas here these are actually activity 
So what we're doing at the moment is by me clicking on this um, band pass, um, we can actually change the frequency up and down that particular um, range, that particular range of bandwidth. Um, so let's uh, let's just have a look at what we've got here. We've got zoom in and zoom out. Okay, so we can actually zoom in on a particular um, transmission. And down here, we can actually type in the frequency ourselves. We can alter it to step up and step down, make it quicker. As you can see, the band pass here is going up and it's going down. Okay, um, so here we can zoom in. So the band pass is up here. Let's just drag that down. Okay. We can narrow the band pass. So if we've got two signals that are, let's say, very, very close to each other, and one of them is interfering with the other one, then we can actually narrow this down and filter out the uh, the neighbouring signal. We've got different modes. So lower sideband, upper sideband, AM, FM, um, CW. Um, and, and again, to understand uh, whether we need to use upper sideband or lower sideband, again, there's tutorials on that. Typically, the lower that you go, so for instance, 160, 80, 60 and 40, they would be lower sideband. And then as we go up, they tend to be upper sideband. So 20, 17, 15, 12, 10, 6, 4, 2, for instance. Okay. So, uh, what else have we got? We've got a volume button, um, we've got uh, the ability to record, um, we've also got the ability to speed up the waterfall. So at the moment it's on slow, there it is on medium, and there it is on fast. As I say, this isn't meant to be an instructional video, this is just meant to be a taster to get you into it and you can start playing um, and experiencing it for yourself. So let's uh, let's just show you how it works. Let's turn the audio on and let's see what we can hear. Okay, so we'll just move it down a bit. Move it up a bit. All I'm doing now is fine tuning it to get it perfectly on the frequency that the transmitting station is on. Eighty meters tends to be what we call a rag tube band, which is where people have conversations rather than looking for DX contest um, and, and uh, DX contacts. We'll just zoom out. Okay, so 80 meters, 60 is more data, 40 meters, you might find quite a few contest stations on here, let's just zoom in a bit. You'll see here, this, this is the centre frequency, this dash, and then you'll notice if I flick to upper sideband, it goes to the right, so the centre frequency and the upper part 
of that signal is what we're listening to. But as we're on 40 meters, we've just learned that we need to be on lower sideband. a bit hard to find what frequency this guy's on. He's a portable station. So, all right, okay, so he's doing a SOTA activation. Let's try 20. 20 meters, I don't know whether there's any contests on today. I don't think there are because it's very quiet. But again, okay, so now we're on upper sideband. It's automatically flicked over to upper sideband. 40 meters flicks back to lower. 20 meters up to upper. Let's have a look. Contest. Okay, well anyway, that's that. Now let's just have a look at the VHF part. So if we go back up to the screen here and click here, this will load up a different uh, port of Hat Green. And with this one, we can do both UHF and VHF. So 70s, which is 440. Um, 2 meters, so the upper part of 2 meters tends to be FM, and the lower part tends to be sideband. There's a signal there, um, that would be probably a beacon, I think. Uh, upper sideband, zoom in. data of some kind. Uh, zoom out. Let's have a look. Is there anything down here? This this part down here, 144300, is the um, sideband calling channel. You can also type the uh, frequency in here. So there's two meters. Not sure how much they'll be on four. Mm, not a lot. Ten. Mm, don't think there'll be anything. Uh, back to two meters again. Let's just go uh, FM, and let's go to the upper part of the band. So one four five uh, five hundred is the calling frequency of two meters FM. Let's have a look. Is anybody talking at the moment? Mm. Do, 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 do. Doesn't look like it. There was somebody on a few minutes ago. But I think we may have missed those. Okay, this, this guy's doing um, uh, a SOTA. Seven Lima Alpha Sierra Portable. Uh, name this place Rob Romeo Oscar Barber. 
There you go. Anyway, hopefully you found that interesting. Um, as I say, there are SDRs all around the world, and um, listening is a big part of the enjoyment of this hobby. So, hope you enjoy it. So there you go. I hope you found that interesting. Um, there are SDRs all around the world that you can connect to. So uh, yeah, feel free, go in, have a play, have a listen, and uh, you never know, it might get you excited enough to get into the, the, the hobby. Okay, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, great, give me the thumbs up please. Um, it encourages me to make more videos. If you haven't, for whatever reason, by all means tell me what I've done wrong and I'll try not to do it again. And um, if you do like my videos and you'd like to be notified of the next one, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. So anyway, have a great weekend everybody. I'm out to play radio now. Take care, have a good day, bye bye.